If you're like most people that have inherited a mineral interest, you're not quite sure where to start. Maybe you didn't even know you had mineral interest until a landman came by offering you a lease and a bunch of money. So the question is, where do you even start looking for information? And really, the best place is to just start at the beginning. Let's get the legal description of the property and look at it on a map. We'll discover what wells are on there, maybe what wells have been permitted and haven't been drilled yet. And then we can zoom out and look at the surrounding area to see what's going on around it. And then after you've gathered all this information, you can put it in a spreadsheet and keep it for your records. You will probably refer to that spreadsheet pretty often. So it's a really good thing to have. And we actually have a free mineral management spreadsheet that you can download. I'll link to it below. We're going to use Texas as an example because it is the largest producer of oil and gas in the United States. So let's launch the Railroad Commission's GIS viewer. And each state has a GIS viewer. I've linked to the top nine oil producing states on the website. And, um, but you can always just type in your state plus the words oil and gas GIS viewer, and it'll come right up. So anyway, let's look at Texas. You can see that it has um, created a map of Texas here. And this yellow sticky note is something that I have just added because I wanted the legal description here. I went to just a random county in Texas, Glasscock County, and I looked up a random common last name and pulled out the legal description. So we're going to use this as an example and pretend this is just your mineral interest. And we're going to look it up and investigate what we can about it. So let's go and enter this and see where this property is located. We're going to go to the search icon and search under survey. First thing we need to do is select the county. Because I got this in Glasscock County, we need to select the same county. So you can see in this legal description that it's abstract 792. And we can just put that in. And in this case, we don't even need a block or a section number. So we'll just hit query here. And see it has highlighted your mineral interest. So this is the area in which you own some sort of mineral interest. It might be a tiny little fraction. It might be the whole thing. So. I can see immediately that we have a few conventional wells that are probably a little bit older from the pre-fracking days. And then these lines are really exciting because these are horizontal wells. They're probably fracked wells. They're pretty long. They extend through more than one section. And um, so we'll look at those in more detail in just a minute. So let's go up to the information icon and we're gonna click on wells. So that's taken away our highlighted area here, but that's OK. We don't really need it. Um, so these green dots are oil wells. You could see in the legend over here, a green dot is an oil well. And a green dot with a slash through it is a plugged well. There's no plugged wells on this property. So these are all oil wells. And if you click on it, you get more information. So this is great information to put in your spreadsheet. You're going to want a record of every single well that you have on your property. Um, so if you can go through here and you can scroll down and you can even look at the production data if you want to see how much is this well producing. Like the last month that was recorded was January of 2019. They're always a couple of months behind. Um, so the production there was 1,351 barrels of oil for the whole month. And um, OK, so we'll go back. And later, you can enter this in your spreadsheet. But for now, we're just going to investigate and see what's here. So we can click on another one and do the same thing. But what I really want to see are these horizontal wells, because those are much, much more exciting. And you see them all around this area. So this looks like a really, really good place to have mineral interest. Let's zoom out. Zoom out, and let's click on one of these. So this is a horizontal oil well. You can tell this because the, or it's actually, yeah, you can tell this because it has 2H. You might see 3H or 1H. OK, so this one is 1H. 
and this one is 2H. All horizontal wells, at least in Texas, have an H on the end of the well name. All right, so here's what's really interesting too, are these circles with a blue outline. These are permits. So they are planning to drill a well here. It's been permitted, but they haven't actually started drilling yet. And um, you can get all the information by clicking on that as well. This is something you'll wanna record in your spreadsheet and keep an eye on the progress. Once it's drilled, they'll send you division orders to review and sign, and then not too long after that, you should start getting royalty checks. Of course, the royalty checks when a well first starts producing are much, much higher than they are after it's been producing for a few years. So let's look at this other well on the side here. So all of these are permitted. They haven't drilled any of these yet. So they have a lot of plans for this area. And we can even scroll down here because it looks like from the bottom here of your property, it also is included in this lease, which may or may not be the same one. We'd have to look at the, uh, have to look at the lease information. Now that you know where your mineral interest is, you can go ahead and start filling out a spreadsheet with all of this information. And we have a free mineral management spreadsheet that I'll link to below. And um, this is stuff that you want to follow up on, you want to keep track of. The most important thing to managing your minerals is knowing what you own. You should have every, all your original oil and gas leases and division orders should be in a folder, along with one sample royalty statement. And then on a spreadsheet, you need to have all the information about your mineral interest royalty interest and all the wells that are on your property. If you know that one's been permitted, you can add it and sort of add to it as more information becomes available. But this spreadsheet is something you're gonna be referring to reasonably often, so you definitely need to have it organized. And this is the way you start. I hope this has been helpful.